Hello, my name is Jim Fredericks, Product Marketing Manager for Salvas North America. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to our line of pump relay controllers. We have two different configurations. One is a wired panel, which accepts an input from a two, three, or four wire thermostat input. The other is a wireless panel that accepts an input from our battery operated Zigbee thermostat. There are three different models of our pump panels. We have our single zone controller, which will take an input from a thermostat and provide control of a single zone circulator. We have a four circuit panel. The four zone controller has four zone outputs, one of which may be designated as a domestic hot water loop or a priority loop. In addition, it also has a primary output for the primary circulator pump to charge all of the zone loops. Last but not least is our six zone controller, which has six zones, again, one of which may be designated as the priority loop, plus it has a primary output as well. These configurations are full featured. They have all of the functionality of any of the products that are available on the market. We have the priority zone, which is to control the domestic hot water in addition to your individual heating zones. We've got a dedicated primary pump output to control the primary pump, as well as the individual zone circulators. We have the ability to daisy chain several controllers together, up to five. And that would give you the ability with a six zone controller of having up to 30 loops. Now, in that scenario, the master controller or the primary controller would control the priority pump and the primary pump. The other zone controllers would be used just for zone control. We also have an input from an aquastat or the ZC slash N input that's used to keep the zone pumps off until we receive a signal from the aquastat that the water temperature is up to temperature and the zones can turn on. All of our relay panels have three different outputs. They're up here at the top. We have the auxiliary output that is on when any zone other than the priority zone is calling for heat. We have the XX output, which is energized any time that there is a call for heat for any zone and we have the zone 1 E slash S output which will turn on whenever there is a priority call for heat. This is our wireless controller so it has outputs across the bottom for all of the high voltage circulator control. We have a dedicated input for the zone 1 priority thermostat if that needs to be a hardwired input. Otherwise, all of the zone thermostat inputs would come in wirelessly over the Zigbee channel. In the wired panel, we have inputs across the top for all of the zone thermostats with an R, W, and C connection. So the relay controller will power the thermostat and then take the dedicated input for the call for heat. Both our four and six zone controllers have dip switches that allow you to configure the various control functions. You can set up one device as a primary or master controller and other devices as secondary or slave controllers. The master controller would control the priority for domestic hot water and the primary pump control. The other controllers would all just provide zone control. We have a dip switch that allows you to turn the priority mode on or off if it's enabled or on. Then the domestic hot water loop will get priority over the zone control loops. So the domestic hot water output will come on until the demand is satisfied or after an hour it will relinquish control to the individual zones and any zone calling for heat will then be able to turn on the circulator pump and provide heating to that particular zone. We have an exercise function which if a pump is off for 72 hours, it will energize the output, turning that pump on, allowing it to keep the seals all lubricated. It will energize that pump for 30 seconds and then turn it back off again. We have a configuration parameter for 
what do you want the primary pump to do in priority mode? Do you want it to turn on during priority mode or do you want it to remain off during priority mode? We also have a purge function. What the purge function does is after the priority zone is satisfied and it's no longer calling for domestic hot water heat, the purge function will keep the pump operating for another two minutes in order to get all of the hot water out of the system. All of the controllers have sealed relays. They're rated for 1 -sixth horsepower or 5 amps. They have 5 amps low blow fuses and we provide two replacement fuses. The outputs for the control output are rated at 2 amps. So there you have it. These are our pump relay controllers. What you will find is our products are very competitively priced. Our full featured panel will typically sell for 10 to 15 percent less than what some of the basic control configurations will be from our competitors. So this is the Salus relay controller line. We hope you like it. We hope you get a chance to try it. Again, my name is Jim Fredericks. I'm the product marketing manager for Salus. If you want more information, please go to www.salisinc.com. Thank you.